All right. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> we're, we're at Antelope Island out here at White Rock Beach getting ready to go for a hike. Today we're going to be... Let me flip this around and show you. Today I'm going to be sporting my new um, Peak Design backpack. I just got this and I'm excited to use it in the field to really see what it, you know, how it, how it handles. Also going to be using these new hiking sticks. This is a uh, lightweight. They are uh, These things are carbon fiber and are um, like four, yeah, like four and a half ounces each. Um, I'll get it in a second. So they hook, they hook together with that, with the cord, you pull it tight. They're not telescoping and um, not adjustable in height, but just like that. So you just pull that knot over, lock it in place. These are uh, Xenon uh, brand. I bought them, I bought these in a, at an outdoor shop right on uh, 7200 and State Street in Midvale. Um, they're pretty cool. I'm excited to use these things. They're really lightweight. I'm curious to see how they work. So Antelope Island is one of my favorite places, though we don't get out here that often. It's kind of funny. Um, we don't live that too far from here. It takes us about an hour and a half to get out here, but um, I think it's probably been four years since we've been out here. Uh, anyway, so today I'm sporting, so is my wife actually, we're wearing these new loft tech jackets from outdoor vitals they're a very lightweight packable jacket filled with a synthetic uh, fibers called loft tech i really like them for how little they are they look like a coat liner um, and they're quite warm i've actually got one of the downfilled ones too here in my pack just in case but it's pretty it's probably 40 40 degrees out here and it's quite comfortable um, so uh, this pack I'm wearing as I was saying is a whole, some, a whole new system I got from uh, Peak Design it's uh, pretty decent it looks more like a piece of luggage it's actually more of a travel pack with camera cubes put your camera gear in a uh, modular system to go inside it's really nice because you can customize it however you want I didn't want to carry my big long 300 28, which is a heavy beast, so I stuck it in a small cube, lifted it in the car. I have the medium sized cube in the back here with the rest of my camera gear. Um, I have a camera on my, uh, on my waist belt because I've got my bodies on the waist belt with their uh, clip design. And uh, you'll see, if you notice that, you'll see later. Anyway. So I've cut back up to my wife. Let me flip this around and show you some more stuff. This time of year is a great time of year to come out here. There's no bugs, the weather's good, there's no snow yet. Even in the winter time, there's not a ton of snow out here. If you come in right after a big snowstorm, there can be quite a bit, but it's pretty nice. 
Look back the way we came. We're not that far from the vehicles. There's a bunch of uh, people on horses here. Up ahead, out there, are some bison. They're a little bit hard to see. This doesn't zoom in a ton. This camera I'm using is the the new uh, Osmo. Um, I can't remember what it's called. It's the Osmo 2, the newest one that uh, has a an extended uh, handle you can add on so you can use a wireless mic. It's my newest acquisition. So for more steady cam stuff, some bigger bison up ahead of us. Oh, there's a back of my wife's head up there on the up there on the hill. A little bit hard to see. When we get closer, I'll show them to you. Here comes some mountain bikers flying down the trail. So we're up the trail a little ways further and uh, having lots of fun. It's wide open. There's no shade out here. Uh, it's an awful place to come in the summertime. The bugs are really bad and it's hot and no shade until you get way back around on the backside of the mountain we're heading to and there's some junipers back in there but let me spin this around and show you these bison they're actually a lot closer than that this is a wide angle lens on here they're probably a hundred yards away maybe 150 <laughs> That's a big pile of shit. <laughs> There's actually some bison right over there. A couple big bulls sitting out there. It looks like rocks. When you come out here, you really got to watch out for these guys. They don't get too close to them. Even uh, staying back, sometimes they can be aggressive. And if they decide to mow you over, they're mowing you over. There was a guy that got gored out here just a few months ago. Got gored in the neck and it killed him. It, he bled out. Um, it was pretty sad. There's my my wife up there. A whole bunch of bikers went by us. There's those bison again. Like I said, this doesn't bring him in close enough. I'll, I'll crop in on this. Um, they're about a hundred yards away. Lots of fun. All right. I guess I guess I better go catch up with my wife. So we've come up a little ways. You can see the lake out there, Buffalo Point, um, White Rock Beach camp, camping area, campground, back around. There's the visitor center of the building. Uh, the trail switchbacks up there. There's some bikers up there riding. I want to come up in here and look for deer up in there. Those rocks up in there, there's usually some some deer hanging out. Um, I've seen them down here, down in the bottom down there before. There's some fresh water down in there they can go get into. And um, anyway, we stopped for a minute so we can cool down a little bit. It's uh, warming up even though <laughs> we got on layers so it's time to take off a layer. <laughs> Thank you.
Got a little bit warm. It's about 50 degrees. We had to take our jackets off. I didn't wear my sombrero. I have it with me. I just didn't bring it. Left it in the car. So check this out. Hello. <laughs> You no, we're fine. Oh, no. That's my fault. <laughs> Show offs. I think I need to get back into mountain biking. I had a bike and then I got rid of it. I used to ride all the time. I was with somebody one time, we were camping, and I took my bike and he brought his and I said, so you know how to mountain bike? He's like, yeah. I'm like, all right, well, yeah, let's go. We were up American Fort Canyon and uh, I took him up the paved road from the, up the Timpanooki, upper Timpanooki campground jumped on the Great Western Trail there and uh, you know took it single track all the way back up through the trees I get back in there I'm hauling down the, the, the downhill and I switch backs and I stop I'm like where is he I'm like where where did he go so I stop and I'm watching and I'm watching finally I see him coming down he's got his butt on his seat his feet off the pedals out in the air he's like oh 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 i'm good and i'm like john john oh, i shouldn't have said his name anyway i started yelling stop stop and he stops what and i'm like dude you're gonna hurt yourself he said put your feet on those pedals and get off the damn seat what i'm like seriously you said you had a mountain bike <laughs> he didn't have a clue <laughs> anyway uh one of the many stories <laughs> how far do you think the water is uh, the water, I don't know, from the high water mark down there, it's easily four or five hundred yards out. That's pretty. That's the, the White Rock Bay over to Buffalo Point. There's the, the cars way back out there in the distance. And here comes some more mountain bikers. Must be yours. Yep. <laughs> yeah. So as you could see these these uh hiking sticks, these walking sticks. Um I can't remember what this cord is called. It's a really high high quality cord. My mind went blank. But you pull up on it and let and let release the knot and then they just collapse up like a blind man stick and then to put them back together you just get them lined up and pull the cord up and and lock it in place really nice I like these things they're they're a little tall for most people would think so but I'm an old cross-country skier old school guy and poles should be about fit up under your armpit so isn't that pretty back there left my wife she's Back there, I guess I better go get her.
He's way ahead of me. There's white rock out there. It's really pretty. Probably, I don't know how much further we're gonna go. We're just poking around. Gonna go look for, once it uh, starts to get towards dusk, go look for deer and, and uh, coyotes. But this is just nice. It's about 50 degrees out here. Nice and sunny. All right, here we are over looking down across the, that's the main peak back in there of the summit of Antelope Island. I don't know what they call it. Looking out across this way over the water, the mud flats and back over to, to Buffalo uh, Point. Just had a bunch of, of uh, people on horses come by us. Erica's cooling down. She has to put her jacket back on. So model that for us. That's the <laughs> that's the that's the Loft Tech uh, jacket by Outdoor Vitals. They look like a fairly lightweight coat, but they're warmer than they look. They've got the little thumb loops. <laughs> I'm not selling for them. I paid for these. I actually now own three of these. This is the generation one that um, can have a little bit of issues with the, with the um, down coming out. <laughs> and I got, them, I got two for one. So, and then I ended up buying another one, um, one of the newer ones, just because. And in fact, if you stay there, stay just like, oh, there, there goes my, you can see, right? I don't know if you can see that. But uh, yeah, not your butt. You can see some of the down coming out on these. They had they ended up having to change the the material, the the outside mm -hmm. shell material, but because um, it'll pull out sometimes. But I got them for two for one. They're quite warm, considering um, you know how little they are. Mine, I put it on, and when I'm taking the hood off, I was sweating. So that's just pretty there. Here comes another mountain biker. I'm going to show you this camera bag. This uh, this is the the peak peak design. Peak design. It's uh, actually the the travel bag, the travel backpack, the 35 liter. It looks like a piece of luggage, not like something you'd be hiking with. Um, <laughs> I like it though. I was looking for something modular that I could carry on planes, throw in my car. Um, and carry my camera gear and some other stuff and this was just the perfect fit um, I got my my cheaper lightweight carbon fiber tripod strapped on there because it's quite a bit uh, lighter, lighter. Uh, this is my thermometer it says it's 41 degrees here now yeah this uh, that's a little thermometer I bought um, I'll put the where I bought that from on here. I can't remember the name of the company, but they're right in American Fork, Utah. Uh, seems to be great. It records highs and lows. Seems to be a good little um, thermometer. So this pack is pretty cool. It's uh, it's got pretty padded. I mean, it's not been uncomfortable to carry, and I've got it fairly weighed down. It's got pretty comfortable shoulder uh, straps and a waist belt. It's a little bit different design than I prefer. Um, it takes taking a little bit getting used to, this, especially the waist belt, the way it works. Um, but uh, uh, these, it's nice. These can actually be put away. Hold this up for a second, there, dear. Vanna, give me a hand. So <laughs> I'm going to do another video about this, but you can t t tuck these in underneath. And just literally fold them in like that on both sides. This side out of mine. And uh, get them out of the way. Oh, this fell back out. But just get it up in there. And they've got magnet. It's best if you put the um, the waist belt in. They've got a magnet system that just locks it in there and just gets it out of the way. So you can just pick it up and carry it like a like kind of like a, tra a travel bag instead of a backpack. So 
it's heavy duty material these this is not lightweight it's a really heavy duty i opted for the sage green instead of the black and uh it's a uh, water pretty waterproof uh you know water resistant um pretty heavy duty stuff i like it so let me show the inside of it let me open it up so you can open up the inside right right there where the yeah there's you can open it up from the front or from the back I've got this set up to open it up from from this side um, in here I've got another one of the <laughs> that's the down jacket this is the medium sized camera cube this thing is designed for uh, for three of their cube spaces so I've got a small one in the medium um, you can see I've actually this is the gear pouch this thing is awesome I absolutely love this this is what I put my my camera that I'm recording this within and just tons of other stuff I mean I've got a rechargeable bat you know, the, the power pack there I've got the lens caps I've got a mic for my for my Nikon um, my cable release and I'll put this camera right in this pouch it's got a zippered pocket that you could put SD cards in this thing is really cool I mean really these are their modular system for their strap you literally just this will hook on to the strap let me show you on this other one this I've got the strap this strap right here this is their their uh, I can't remember the name of it now but their thin strap the, the light and just I've hooked it on this one. You literally just press down on that button and you can unhook it. Well, kind of two handed thing, but and unhook it. So I could throw these straps on my little bag there. I've got the, 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 the small bag uh, back in the car. I could use if I just want a small bag to put a camera and a lens in, or I can throw the strap on this lens. You just fit it in the in the slot there and then pull it forward. I'm gonna have my wife do it. Thanks, Vanna. Peter was in the way. She's so good. So if I wanted to just carry this bag as a separate, just as a camera bag, if I didn't want to carry my pack and I just wanted to have a bag with some lenses in that, I could just throw that over my shoulder and go. So I'll open this back up. No, I want to show all this. This inside is really cool. It's got this, it's a carpety type material that has Velcro. This is one of the pouches. And it's, yeah, and it, it's got the hook on it. And, and then it, the loop is actually the, the carpety material that is heavy duty. And that's what you design. You build it out for however you want your lenses to be in there. Yeah, it's very modular. You could stack a lens. This folds down. You can stack lenses in it if you wanted. So I've put... Yeah, I caught on her glow. <laughs> so I've got uh, my Rokinon in here, my 14 millimeter, a fixed, uh, what is this one? I can't remember what that is. It's like 100, it's a macro, 105 to 8. I look for close-up stuff, and then my 28 to, to 70. Um, and the camera's right here. Where's my 70 to 210? Oh, it's back in the back. <laughs> ah, there's more space in there that this is not opening up wide enough, but um, you, you can actually, I could just pull this out really easy. And I've got my 70 to 210 in there. So, I mean, that's a pretty big bag. Oh, you got another one right there. Oh, yeah. And I have, yeah, I have the teleconverter right oh, there. That's a teleconverter. Yeah. So, and that, I mean, there's room in there to stick my full body D50, D850 with that lens I have on there, which is the 28 to 300. Um, and I could fit it all in this. I currently am just putting my little get tech pouch in there, but I think that's just pretty cool. I mean, that's that's a full bag, as it were. I could throw over my shoulder and just take with me. So that's this uh, Peak Design. I'll do an indoor display of all this better. There's tons of other you know videos about this, but this is my field test of it. It's not something I will backpack with, obviously. It's something that I will use when I'm going to airports, throw all my camera gear in it, and 
take on the road when I'm driving in my car somewhere, and then I can pull stuff out as needed. Like the small, the little mini cube, the smallest cube. Um, let me flip this around. The smallest cube I can uh, fit, like I said, the camera, the camera body with the lens on it, and stick my other another lens in there. So I'll probably, you know, like I'll put either my 28 to 70 or my um, the 28 to 300 in it and my 14 millimeter and then go hiking uh, and I'll put that in the small cube and just throw that in a backpack. These cubes are fairly waterproof. Um, seem to be really cool. So I'm liking it. They're not lightweight. This, this bag with this, uh, my wife just got a drink and is choking. My, uh, this backpack with by itself without any cubes in it, I think I'm trying to remember. I, I it was five pounds with the bag with the bag and the cubes in it without any gear in it. So it's not lightweight. Um, it's not an ultralight system, but I like its uh, ability to be modular. So I also got this. Let me show you this. This is the um, the camera cover. Their shell that they make. Um, I just if you put one through one end through the through the strap. I've got the the the, 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 the other strap coming around to the bottom plate, um, right there. This is the bottom plate that they that you get for their clip system. That you can uh, the other component goes on the belt. I'll show this in another video, but this is really cool because you can hook the strap through through there, one of these little loop things and hook it on the strap and it's nice. I mean, this works, this is a, a RK Swiss compatible. It's lightweight. I mean, I think I'm gonna switch all my my uh, components to mount to my tripods with to these because they're so much lighter than the standard RK, you know, RK Swiss compatible ones and they're just, they're, they're nice. They, they crank down tight and so, but this, this, uh, sorry, I saw a squirrel. I got sidetracked. But this um, shell is really nice. It's not something I would shoot through. I mean, you could if you wanted to, but you can see it's got, it's this whole compatible thing that goes over your lens if you wanted to and can totally enclose your camera and the lens in a shell to protect it from the uh, elements. If you're outside and you just want to, you know, have that on there, um, Oh, she's gonna to try to put it on. It's a little tough with that lens to get to get the uh, yeah. to get the lens over. I can do it. It just takes a little bit of practice, but it's pretty pretty nice. I mean, this is my first time using this, and um, takes a little bit of practice to do it. I I was playing with it last night and got it down pretty good, <laughs> um, but uh, I like it. Um, <laughs> If I, you know, if it, if, if it starts to rain and I don't want to put my can, I just leaving that on there. It's just on the strap. You just pull it off. It just hangs on the side. It's out of the way. And if it, you know, if I'm in a situation where it's going to start, start raining, I can just quickly cover that and protect my camera fairly well. So that's the stuff I'm carrying today. So we're probably going to head back and get some turkey sandwiches that we, that we made and brought with us and, and then go cruise around Antelope Island here looking for wildlife. It's a kind of really nice place to just cruise. You, you can drive in your car and usually see uh, coyotes, fox, deer, a lot of uh, bison and antelope. And I'm getting chilly. It's uh, it's like 41 degrees. It's cooled off. It's This says 43. So anyway, yeah, we're, not well, we're not hiking. We quit moving. <laughs> so. so what do you think? You having fun? Yeah, I'm having fun. You having fun? I'm having fun. <laughs> <laughs>
this thing, these clips, on this piece, I'm not overly happy with where I put this, but it just clips okay. on there. Can help you? No, I got it. I, pref I, I don't want it up here. I would prefer it around here a little bit more in front, but... Well, that was cool. I wanted to step off and just kind of get a sweeping panoramic. I'll put it on here. Um, video and I saw some guys riding on horses down below there with these long shadows of the sun going down. So I got that shot. That's I think that's going to be a really cool cowboy shot. Um, I sell my stuff a lot of times at the National Cowboy Poetry Gathering in Elko, Nevada. And then a coyote popped out of nowhere and stood there. And I got some shots of him. Uh, I was at 300 using this 28 to 300. Kind of a, not a great lens, but it's a good lens to haul around like this. And I uh, was able to get him at 300. I'll crop in some, I'll put that on here. So that was kind of cool. You never know what you'll find out here. You just poke around. And I'm shocked we haven't seen any deer yet, but they may not be hanging in this area. They may be out over there on Buffalo Point. So we're still having fun, just making our way out. The light's getting really nice. I'd like to go get some better shots of bison, but they're best to be done from the car, really. Don't go walking up close to bison thinking you're gonna get a shot of them. It's a good way to get stumped. You know, that black stuff is between bison toes, slow people. <laughs> I usually shoot with a tripod, but when I'm hiking like this, sometimes it's just easier to handhold shoot, especially animals. So put the ISO up, and then you can put a high enough shutter speed. I'm shooting this at ISO 400 and, and uh, thousandth of a second at F8. So here's the shot I got of the uh, cowboys riding across the open um, prairie there. I just love that shot. Thought it was so cool, but I couldn't decide which one I liked, that one or this one when they got on the road. And um, I thought that was unique and also neat also, so I included it. Here's the coyote shot that I got while I was shooting those guys. I saw this coyote, so I, I got that shot of it. Really love getting animals backlit like that. That is just, to me, classic. Um, this was a handheld panoramic. All these were handheld that I did. Uh, vertical shot stitching it together cross there. Uh, I just really liked the layering on that. And then I turned around as I was going down the trail and saw the moon coming up. I was like, oh man, so I handheld that vertical panoramic stitched across. Um, this one was the sunset. That blur along the mountain top there in the back is actually atmospheric conditions. It was pretty cool. <laughs> Look at that sunset behind me. We're back here to the car. And uh, while she's over going to the bathroom, got a big full moon, almost full, it'll be full, full tomorrow night coming up. Got some shots of that, some shots of the sunset over the lake. Um, it's 26 degrees now. It got cold as soon as the sun started, even before it went down. It, uh, and my thermometer's saying it's 26, and I believe it. It's chilly. I'm starting to need to put my gloves on, but. Uh, <laughs> so I don't know how far we went, probably two to maybe three miles round trip. I'll, I'll clock it when I get home. But uh, uh, yeah, anyway, <laughs> check that sunset out again. Isn't that pretty? So thanks for watching this. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, uh, our little hike here on Antelope Island. And um, if you, if, if you like my videos, click the like button, um, subscribe, 
hit the bell so you get notified when I post something new. And uh, happy trails.